ProPublica is about making change. ProPublica is journalism in the public interest. Most of the reporters here, it's not just a job, it's a calling. We live in investigative journalism. Everything about what we do is trying to find the truth and trying to uncover injustice. We live in a world where the journalism uh, model, the business model, is very much under threat. And in a lot of places, you know, you have to basically produce stories that gets clicks in order to get paid more. Here at ProPublica, you'd have to get up in the morning and think of a story that would actually make a difference in the world. I've spent a lot of time looking at criminal justice matters and particularly the inequalities embedded in criminal justice. Data is important when you can uh, quantify uh, the depth and, and how vast these issues are. Uh, that just uh, tells the folks that can make a difference, lawmakers, uh, citizens, just how uh, deep the problems run and how they should mobilize to try to do something about them. As an education reporter, I think it's a malpractice not to cover the issues of student debt. There's over $1 trillion in student debt today. It's becoming the largest issue of young people out there. The role of data is huge in our stories because not only do I write articles, we also create these apps. And the goal there is that there's tons of complex information in the world, and we want to help readers understand how does it literally connect to them? How can they actually use that information? One of our most famous apps at ProPublica is called Dollars for Docs. Nationwide, lots of doctors take payments from drug companies or medical device companies. What we essentially allow you to do is to look up any doctor in the United States and get that information across multiple companies. One of our early stories, uh, the state of New York was going to do uh, fracking everywhere in the state, including uh, next to the uh, you know reservoirs for the city of New York. Um, we wrote a story that said, uh, contrary to what the governor and the legislature have been told, fracking has had a number of uh, serious spills of chemicals and so on. This closed the state of New York to put a temporary ban on while they investigated and ultimately a permanent ban on fracking. We want people to feel active, that they can play a role in society and they can have their voice heard.